Well, hey there, everyone. So it is getting quite warm outside, which means summer is coming, which means I need to find things to wear in the summer that aren't sweaters because I mostly own sweaters. So if you saw from the thumbnail, that means we're making a sundress because sundresses are summery and I need one. But before we get into that, I have a little surprise to show anybody who watched a few, few videos ago. So remember when I painted all of those little pages for my friend, um, and I said that I would show you the result of the book when she got it. So pretty much for those of you that don't know, I did a little video. Um, my friend had come to me. She said that she needed some art done for a little book that she was making for her sister's baby shower. So I obliged her and I made a video about it and she just recently got the book in and sent me a video of the little book and it looks incredible. So without further ado, here's the video um, of the book. I think it just looked so cute like literally it looks like a children's book and it makes me want to like make a children's book but yeah aside from that um back to what we're doing this week so sundress um so i did end up buying a pattern for this dress i bought it from this lovely person on etsy and the fabric that i am using i got from goodwill i thrifted it it might have been a bed sheet but it kind of looked like material but it did have like a hemp side but it was in the material section so i'm gonna say it was material um it's i had a really pretty pattern that i thought would be perfect for the sundress and ed i ended up having like just enough fabric to do this dress um i was just worried with any other fabric i wouldn't have enough and i was right so i chose this fabric and it turned out to be perfect so after i've printed and taped together the pattern and cut out the pattern pieces um i need to cut out the material pattern pieces and then i can finally start sewing things together <laughs> so after i've cut all of those out i'm gonna meet you back here <laughs> As you can see here, I'm using the shortened bodice option, so that's why it looks like I'm cutting it really weird. Um, I'm actually cutting it for a shorter bodice. All right, now that everything's cut out, it is time to start prepping stuff. So we're gonna start with the skirt this time because that is what the pattern says. So we're gonna prep the pockets first, which I will explain a little bit while I'm showing you the process. And then once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and sew them straight on to the front panels of the skirt, which we have a little pocket guide, which is very convenient. And then I'm gonna start sewing the skirt panels together. So there are four panels because this is a button down dress. Um, so the front's gonna be open and then there's four panels all the way around so i'm gonna sew the two sides together and then sew the back together and then from there i can go ahead and hem it and then sew the front two seams in for the buttonholes so i'm gonna catch you back after that so to prep for this pocket we're gonna fold the top edge over twice and then once we iron that we're gonna flip that over to the other side and then just fold it over on the other side and it's gonna get sewn right at that top there Thank you. 
Then once we've sewn it, we could just turn it right sides out and then fold in the two side edges and the bottom edge. Now to sew it on the skirt, I'm using the pocket guide and this is very helpful. So I just place it underneath my fabric and I can see where I need to put the pocket and I'm just going to top stitch all the way around except for the top of this pocket. Now it's time to start sewing the skirt panels together. So we're going to sew the side fronts to the side backs and then sew the two backs together and we'll make it a full skirt. And I did use a zigzag stitch down all of these seams to cut down on the fraying and so that this would last as long as possible. Once that's done, we go ahead and hem it, and since this is a circle-ish skirt, I'm going to iron the hem first, and then I'm going to sew it. And then after that, I'm going to fold in the two edges of the buttonhole side of the skirt, and then sew that down. The last thing that we need to do to prep the skirt is we are going to gather it, so I am putting two basting stitches along the top. Uh, yes, I'm actually doing two this time rather than one because I wanted to do this correctly. And then we gather it to approximately the size that we need, and now it's time for the bodice. So the last thing to do for the skirt is gather it, and then we can finally work on the bodice. So normally when I do a bodice, I have a lining layer, but this only has a, what's it called? Facing, it's called a facing. So this top's gonna be a little bit more see-through, but that's okay, I think it's still gonna be really cute. And I also didn't have enough material to cut out a second layer, unless I cut it out in a different material. And I just really didn't feel like doing that, and a facing is a lot less work than a lining. So I'm just gonna do this. So this dress does have a built-in, um, it's meant to have like a scrunchy back for the back that I chose. So we're gonna do that too. So before we start sewing the bodice together, let's just do some more prep work. So um, I am gonna deviate from the pattern a little bit and I'm going to change the straps. So in my mind, I was thinking about what kind of straps I wanted for this dress. The dress has like about this thick of straps, but I wanted it to be a little bit different. Um, so I'm just gonna do like this big of straps, but also put an elastic in it so that it's like adjustable and comfortable. So I'm gonna do that for those two straps. And then I'm going to prep the scrunchie back, which is the same way that I do for most of the scrunchie backs that I do, where I have the two back panels, and then I put them right sides together, so along the top, turn them right sides out, and then sew elastic channels and feed elastic through, and then you got a scrunchie back. So I'm going to see you after all that. Again, to prep for the bodice, I'm going to do these straps first. So I did take the original strap pattern that I was given, which was thick, and I just cut that in half so that I could have a skinny, like, spaghetti strap kind of strap. So we're just gonna sew that down right sides together and then turn it right sides out and then 
feed an elastic through it and sew that down to secure it. Now for the elastic back, we're going to take the two back pieces, place them right sides together and sew just along the top, and then after that we'll turn it right sides out and then iron it. From there, we can mark our um, elastic channels, and then we can sew those and feed elastic through, and then sew it down the sides to secure it. And now we can start sewing things together. So we're gonna take the two front bodice pieces again. It's gonna have middle uh, buns down the middle, so we're not connecting those middle pieces. Um, but we're gonna take the two halves of this basically. So we have the two center front pieces, and then we have two side front pieces, and then two side back pieces. So those are all gonna be sewn together. And then once we do that, we're gonna sew those two halves onto the scrunchie back and make it all one piece. And then again with all of this, even with the skirt, I forgot to mention, I did do serging. I zigzagged on all of these seams because I wanted this dress to last as much as possible. I'm trying to do that more with my clothes rather than cutting corners because I just want them to last and I want to be able to wear them more. So I am zigzagging all of these edges because since I don't have the linings for things, they will be exposed and I don't want things to fray. So once those are all sewn together, we are pretty much almost there. So now it's time to sew the top bodice onto the skirt and then create buttonholes and put buttons on it and this dress is done. So I will see you in the final look. Now it's time to start sewing the bodice together. So we're just going to take the front panel, the side front panel, and the side back panel of both of the halves and sew them all together. And for the facing, we are going to take that big facing and then the back facing and sew those together as well. Now before we sew the two halves onto the back of this bodice, we're going to sew the facing on first. So this gets placed right sides together and make sure that you sandwich in your straps while you do this so that they are in the bodice. Then once you do that, you're going to turn it all right sides out and then iron it. Now to sew the side bodice pieces onto the back piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the scrunchie back and place it right sides together onto the side of the bodice. And then I'm gonna take the facing, bring it around and sandwich the elastic back into it and then sew it down. Once that's sewn, I can turn it right sides out and it will all be finished. 
Then go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And now it's time to finally attach the bodice to the skirt. So basically you're just going to pin it right sides together and then sew along it. And then for the straps of this dress, it's basically the same process as the straps minus the elastic. So you're just going to take this and sew it right sides together, turn it right sides out, and then I finished off the edges by poking in the little exposed edges and then sewing a little line. And then you're just going to place it straight onto the bodice and sew it. Now the last thing that needs to happen for this dress is sewing buttonholes and sewing buttons on and then we are ready for the final look. This dress turned out so freaking cute. I think it gives a perfect like summer sundress frolicking vibes, although I can't frolic here, but it's so perfect. I love the pockets. I love the material. I love the buttons. The pattern was great. I highly recommend it, which will be linked down in the description. So go ahead and check that out. I think this is an incredible pattern. Um, I love this dress. <laughs> I think it's like nice and lightweight with this material so it'll be like literally perfect for summer and I didn't really have like a proper sundress I feel in my wardrobe so this is literally perfect if I just wanted to go out and run errands or go on a date or you know go on like a little art thing or something this summer I think this would be probably one of my most worn things in my wardrobe this summer <laughs> it just turned out so cute and i did all of the things that i could to help make the dress last longer like finishing all the seams and you know doing things correctly so i'm really hoping this lasts me because i really 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 enjoy this dress i did have to size it down a bit in the bodice because i i basically already know how big i need things for me so i already knew what I needed to cut things down to so it wasn't too big of a problem but I did end up cutting like the side back seam like literally in half um with my size just because I I know I knew it was gonna be too big but everything else fits literally perfectly 
I think the only thing I'd do different is I, although I like the elastic straps, I wish I changed them. The original pattern has it being a, an adjustable strap, and the reason I didn't do that is because I didn't have the part that I needed to make it adjustable, so I just kind of did this, um, but I do kind of wish I made them still this thin, but adjustable, because um, this is a little too, you know, not holding it up is good, although it is still comfortable, so I'm okay with that. Um, but that's the only thing I would really change. The length is perfect. The buttons and material were great. Um, I think this dress turned out really good. So yeah, get ready for some more summer looks probably because tis the season and I need to make some more clothes for summer because I have nothing to wear because all I do is keep making sweaters. So I need to make some stuff for summer like shorts and shirts and crochet things. So yeah, let me know if you liked this video, and let me know what you want to see more of. So anyhow to do, if you like what I did, go ahead and like and subscribe. I post most Saturdays, mostly at noon, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching!